What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. And if you're new to the channel, well, a special welcome to you. If you don't know who I am, my name is Saloni Verma. I am a biomedical engineer currently working in New York State. I've studied at Harvard Medical School. I've studied at Cornell University for my master's. So I feel like, you know, I'm not doing pretty bad for myself. Um, if you haven't checked out my previous videos, definitely check that out. But this is a special one because we are starting a brand new series. So this series is going to be all about scholarships. I know that a ton of you guys are applying to all the big universities out there. So what I'm going to do is in each video of this series, I'm going to pick one university and we're going to talk about how that university offers 100% scholarships to international students. Like I know this is going to be really beneficial for all you guys out there. I'm really excited to start this out. And I thought the best way to like kickstart this series would be to start with, of course, our big red family. So this video is going to be all about Cornell University. Alright guys, so let's start with like the basic stuff. The first thing that you want to know when you get into any school is how much is it, is it going to cost you to study? Now the cost of attendance at Cornell University and I checked this for the year 2021 fall and get this, it's not very cheap, is, is close to $60,000 per year and if you study for four years which is an undergraduate degree you're gonna be close to quarter million dollars that's not a small amount I mean like few like you can really do a lot with that amount of money so it's really crucial that you know you guys get financial aid and scholarships and this can be really helpful for you guys so if you have so before you like go ahead and close this tab and you know close this um, browser window and shut down your dream of attending like your dream university forever and ever give me a chance here so let's take a deep dive into how you can apply and there is a way because you can very easily get a hundred percent scholarship even if you're an international student now whether you've applied or are still going to apply is a different deal altogether but let's get into the specifics of how you can do that. So let's read off of the Cornell website what they have to say about financial aid for international students. So you guys know that I'm not pulling this out of thin air. So Cornell says that it provides need-based financial aid to admitted international students who've applied for financial aid and demonstrate financial need. Now there are a lot of important things in here. So let's break this down into the important aspects of this entire sentence. The first thing that you have to pay attention here in this sentence is that they say that it's available only to admitted students. What this means is let's leave the whole financial, th th financial aid thing aside and scholarships aside. Step one, your goal as a student needs to be to get admitted into Cornell University. That has nothing to do with financial aid or your financial situation, which means that you have to focus on crafting that killer application your profile needs to be really outstanding it needs to show interest in the area that you want to study in and that's exactly where i come in so i provide personal mentorship programs where i help students all around the world craft their perfect application this includes stuff like helping you guys brainstorm on essay ideas helping you through the supplementals helping you understand the application process apart from marks what else is important to get you into your dream college so if you guys are inter interested in that sign up it's going to be the first link in the description below it's completely free for information and then you can choose whichever program fits your needs the best the second part of that sentence that's really important is that they mention that this is need based. Now what this means is if your family income is under a certain amount, you will automatically qualify for this scholarship or financial aid. So that obviously brings up the question like is there a threshold for this amount? How do you know if your family income can qualify? Now the answer to this is a little tricky. There's no threshold which means that they judge every situation differently. 
things like where you're from, how many people you have in your family, all of these factors play an important role in the deciding factor. And you know, it kind of makes sense. They care about you. So once you get admitted, they look at each applicant's profile because they don't want you to say no to them just because of finances. Frankly, if you get admitted into an Ivy League like Cornell University, they will actually help and you know, care about you enough to help you work on things like financial aid or any other hardships that's preventing you from receiving this world-class education. So the question of the hour is how do you actually apply for the scholarship at Cornell University? Now this happens with your application form when you're filling out the main application to Cornell you just have to select that you want to be considered for financial aid. And that's about it. You don't have to dig deep and dive deeper into the details just yet. This is because, like I said, the first step is getting admitted. So once you're admitted, they'll automatically reach out to you and tell you if they need more documents, such as, you know, proof of your family's income, if they need you to write a letter explaining your circumstance, stuff like that is step number two. So that's how you apply. Now this brings up the second question that if you do get the Cornell scholarship in the first year, is that repeated? Is that something that sticks around for all four years or does it just like disappear in the second year? Now, every year, after the end of every year, they reanalyze your entire situation. This means that they reanalyze your family income, your hardships, and your economic situation. If it stays the same for all four years, the, the short answer is your scholarship will remain the same for all four years of undergrad. And if it changes, the amount may vary. It might be tweaked depending on the change. All right, guys, so that wraps up this video. Now, before we end, I want to give some special mentions to a couple scholarships that you guys can still apply to even after you apply for the main federal aid. This is the Tata Scholarship. This is specifically for Indian students, so keep an eye out for this. The second one is the Federal Pell Grant, and the third one is the Empire State Diversity Honor Scholarship. I know this is a mouthful, but I'm, in the next screen, you'll see the link to all these three grants and scholarships, so feel free to check those out. And if you haven't done so already and reached the end of this video, come on, smash that like button. This is gonna be a killer series. And, you know, drop your guesses in the comments below which university do you think I'm going to do next. Um, until then, take care, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!